Welcome back to another basic game maker studio tutorial. This is a must know for beginners. So if you are having troubles to understand what an object is and then the resulting instance of it, then you are not sure how to control it and for example how you get some IDs because this is super important to understand. So the IDs are kind of the identification number, how you can actually grab those things and change them, manipulate them because this is part of every game. Stay tuned. This is one up indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I try to upload every day or every second day a video and share my stuff so the YouTube algorithm knows this stuff is actually relevant for you guys. So let's get into the really easy stuff. So let's say for example you're having lots of objects or so bam bam let's go down but you're not having instances and instances are things which are kind of uh, stamps of the prototype of the object. So the object you will never have inside the room. You only have a copy just being put in here. So for example you can put I don't know lots of players in here if you like. Doesn't really matter because they are all instances. They carry all the variables, the functions and whatever you put into your player in there. And for example, if I, let's say this is for example the first method how you can put in instances into your level, your room, or you can create them during runtime. So for example, I press a button, there comes a bomb and that bomb tutorial tomorrow how to do this. Then of course, then you can actually control it. So this is another thing. So you can do it during runtime creating instances or during uh, while well, your start phase because you want to set up things in advance. So let's kill all these guys because actually we don't need so many players. And the first thing which Game Maker Studio is giving this, let's say this object once we go in. So let's say for example we're having uh, this object and then it will get an instance ID and this is well marked green because this is the identification number and then we, and every identification number is unique to it and therefore you can actually do something with. For example the player has the 100026 and that number is just saying hey this instance so of the player which is this guy here is unique and then for example you could actually change something you could change it well, inside the player itself or from another object which wants to access the player itself, then change something. Yet. So let's say, mm -hmm, how can we actually do this? So let's say we're having this, huh, this is actually interesting. So let's go into our step event and say the idea which was 100026 dot doesn't work damn it uh that could be actually one thing ah it doesn't really matter uh, so forget what i just said um so the interesting part about this because you are now having this uh, identification number you can now access it so what is the point of accessing another instance so let's say we're having where are you where is the bed let it open now it's gone Oh, here we go. So let's say you're having some enemies, you just put them in and then, I don't know, the player is shooting and then can actually kill those bats. Let's make them fly. Great. And then, for example, maybe you're shooting something and then it is hitting this bat. So your projectile, your spear, your bomb, whatever you like. And then you need to grab its ID, so its identification number and do something. I don't know, like destroy this instance because you're not destroying the object, you're destroying the instance or you want to change, uh, push it away or reduce its health, something like this because you because you targeted it and hit this one, you just want to well, get this one. So for example, you, can, you couldn't say, let's say, um, destroy object bad because this is the object bad, then you would destroy all of them. This is of course, well, it wouldn't make any sense because then the game would be kind of easy. This is not what you want to have and therefore what you want to have is get its ID. So there are multiple ways how to do that. So let's kill them because they are not part of this mini game. Oh, let's go into our player. There are, for example, the easiest way is to make a collision with the object bad. 
then you just go add event collision and then you have some collision code in there and then well if one bounding box is hitting the other one then something happens and how can you actually because here you just have a collision but then there's nothing going on so how can you actually access this specific id well you just go into you just go and say other then id and then you already grabbed it with the other keyword so bam because if you just write something like this this is the id from the player guy which would be kind of useless for you therefore you just go other id bam and then while well, you do something with for example you can um, store it into a variable which you call i don't know grab or a lot of times it just said a lot of people just write instance let's just I'll call it grab whatever you want to like then you can do something with a variable let's say destroy it or move it around push it around because now you're accessing inside this specific instance which was created by the object bad so this is one of his clones his copies whatever you want to call it this is the easiest way how you can do this of course there are other ways how you can do that and this is what i'm going to show you so the first thing which i just showed you let's say for example you want to create some instances into the room so you you just go here uh, drag and drop them inside bam 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 or you do create them during rent runtime so for example at some point you just press a button and then you say hey create layer or create depth depth is a little bit older this is like from game maker 8 and so on and then at some point i guess game maker studio introduced layers i'm not sure if it's only two if if not one already had that too but then you create on layers which you're having on the left side and then well bam you create on this specific layer this specific instance of this object and here you don't have the layer you just have a well a depth which is the old thing and then you have a value between minus 16k to plus 16k as far as i know and then you can do this but this is i guess a little bit more recommended and then what can you actually do so one thing to to get things is doing collisions and for example if you go for collision as you can see there's a collision circle epilepse line point rectangle and so on and this is how you can actually get that idea so how does that work you basically have one thing it has a bounding box or for example you define it by yourself and then you have a collision with the other bounding box and for example if those two things are overlapping then you have a collision if not well you have nothing and then as you can see for example there's always this example at the bottom and then it says var instance and then you say hey collision rectangle blah 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 with some with a rectangle which you are spawning here and then with the specific object and then it will return if there is a collision so between uh, your, i don't know your rectangle and this thing which should be inside so one of those instances of the object ball here so there are lots of balls and then this one is actually colliding then you will get this specific id of this specific instance and then if there is no collision for example if this wouldn't exist all of those balls are outside this collision rectangle then it would return no one and this is quite important to understand this concept with no one and instance because let's say for example you're having a collision with my object bat because i'm just running into the bat and then of course it is hurting me or something like this because this is the player here and then what we could do i don't know because we're hurting uh, hurting the bat as well you could say hey we have our get this instance which uh, the idea which we basically got here and then say hey reduce as well the hp of this specific bat by one because we're having a thorn mail on so this is hurting them and us but let's say for example you're doing this code but you have no collision then this thing which is storing the instance has no instance stored and then it will store this no one variable and then this throw will throw an error because well you can have you cannot have no one dot because this is an operator so this is how you access something inside this instance 
but therefore there is no instance you cannot just say hey no one hp because well this is a, there, there is no object and bam you have an error and therefore lots of times you have this specific if instance is not no one then do something with it i don't know destroy it push it whatever you like so this is very very crucial thing to understand so different kind of collisions maybe through an event or during a step event because you want to customize it a little bit more further this is the way to go of course there are other ways to get the instance and for example you can go for instance furthest and this is just checking hey which of all object bad created instances in the room are the furthest and then it will grab it it will go through cycle through all of them then you say yep and return one instance or again you should do something like this because maybe you want to grab it and then this guy has the instance of the thing which is the most furthest away from this position which you put in so this is important to understand of course you can have a nearest this is the other one then you're grabbing the nearest one this of course makes a little bit more sense for, let's say for a tower defense game then you have a radius around you and bam the nearest instance will be grabbed and therefore actually i use this on my sniper tutorial so if you haven't watched this i guess this is the video before this one so here i actually used it and then for example here we have this uh, maybe you want to destroy that thing because if you grabbed it we want to destroy it and then we just put in here as you can see instance destroy then you can put in a specific id bam and then we kill this instance for example if you would leave it open then it would mean instance destroy uh -huh, and then we are destroying the player and <laughs> not the best idea i don't want to do this so yeah or maybe you have lots of bats let's go back in here and let's say you're having lots lots of bats here but let's say the player is then at some point saying eh I'm skipping the bats, he's going outside, but these guys are still doing their animation, still running code, but it's kind of a wasted resource because they're not there. Then you're saying, hey, destroy all those bats, instance deactivate, so here, to deactivate layer, for example, you could put them on a specific layer on enemies, and there, they will be deactivated, and therefore, you save some resources, because why not? Of course, you can go for instance deactivate, or layer object bam then you're just deactivating well all the instances which have been spawned by this object here bam so another thing maybe you want to have a collision instance place here yeah, you completely forget this instance position as well these are just collisions then maybe you want to get how many of those instances of this specific object are in the room so for now uh, we're having one two three so it would return three this is the way to go and the last thing for example maybe you want to access all of your um let's say bats so what you can do is with this is a very specific and very powerful keyword and there you just go and say hey i want to control all of my bats now because why not and then i don't know you uh here you give them 10 pixels plus and then they will fly downwards all of them so what you would for example if i put put that into the step event then all those three guys here would fly down of course now i marked the bots wrong let's go for are they on higher then they would go down all of them this is how you can control all of them and this is important so once again just to recapitulate important is to know that you're having your objects and they are let's say they're never to be uh, put into the room fine print they are just you're just creating stamps all over the place bam, 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 bam. and then those things are called instances they are getting uh, id assigned and with that id you can mess around because you're accessing directly into them and then you have different methods how you can access them during through collisions and other uh, well methods here they are called here scripts doesn't really matter it's the same and then bam you can actually change something a little note of advice there is a thing which is called instance id and you're thinking wait a minute instance id idea is that the same no it isn't this thing is an array which is collecting 
all the active instances inside the room so there are quite a few and then of course if you want to access them I'm not sure what the application for now is couldn't get one but this is one unique and this is well all of them so and this is definitely not relevant for you at least for a beginner so that was pretty much it hopefully that was of interest to you and now you understand what an object is what an instance is and how you can grab those instances and do something with them because this is how every game does it because you're having lots of instances in your room and you're having a player and then he's bumping into one of them and let's do something reduce hp push whatever so that was pretty much it for today have a good one one up indie